What's up, Yu-Gi-Oh players? This is Steve. Just making a little video of this mystery box thing I got at Wally World. Uh, apparently, I mean, it's not nothing crazy. It comes with three booster packs, five bonus packs, one structure deck, and then possibly other stuff. I got my uh, fiance's scissors here. I'm gonna cut it open. You know, be a tough guy. All right. So, you know what we're hoping for, or uh, would be a Cyberstein. As you can see on the box, it might have some older booster packs, which is kind of cool. And uh, structure deck. Uh, structure deck, I mean, I don't think they're going to have like Dragon's Collide or Gates of the Underworld or anything like that. Those are some of the better, recent, you know, decent value structure decks out there. And uh, more than likely, we're probably going to get the ones on the box the Zombies or Dragonity structure decks or whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called. Um, yep. I'm trying to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh! I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna buy something random. So I bought this thing here. So we'll see what it is, guys. We'll start with, oh gosh, Battle Pack. Oh god. Okay, well, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five Battle Pack packs. One Tactical Evolution, which actually isn't bad. A Number Hunters. And a Judgment of the Light. <laughs> God. And then the Structure Deck. Oh my God. Structure Deck XYZ Symphony. Um, I mean, it's got freaking uh, Utopia in it, so that's cool. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> okay. I got a fuck block, man. Fuck you, dude. I was like, shit, did I actually get something worth of value? Nope. Nothing. And the box is empty. Box is empty. So we got, oh my god, uh, see I don't know if this is actually rated 10, I mean if it is, it still isn't worth shit because it's only a block man. Uh, out of this deck you get, uh, let's get out of here, you got MST, um, shit, Call of the Haunted, <laughs> other than that you got some of the, uh, yeah pretty much nothing, the XYZs are mainly it. So I guess we'll go ahead and just do the battle pack shit first, since like they're so crappy. And they literally, oh look at that. So they literally took a battle pack, you know, the booster thing that came back in the day and just put it in this box. So this one we got is the Freya and then the uh, Butterfly Lady, whatever, Papaloperative or something. So that's kind of cool. You know, they're pretty nifty. It's a cool little thing to hang on the wall. Like I said, I don't really, I don't probably, I don't, I don't plan on using it, so. Oh, gosh. Alright. First pack of Battle Pack, it was Battle Pack 3. I actually never did this one, so that's kind of cool. I don't know what's good in here and what's not, so. Enemy Controller, Bashing Shield, Quacking Your Sandman, oh, that's nice. Quacking Your Sandman's actually cool, I like the Quacky Maru archetype. Not in whole, you know, some of the cards are horrible. And these are hard to unpeel. Um, some of the cards are super horrible. They're not a good deck by themselves, but they make a good stun deck with the Sandman, Guardian, uh, you know, whatever. We're going to go with the Evil Swarm o Lantern, I think is the pack name on this one. Let's see what we get. One Shot Wand, Winged Rhinos, High Iron, Warrior Turning Alive, and Shocktopus. Ghost from the Past, Sacred Crane, I like that, Golden Flying Fish, Book of Life, and Exploder Dragon, that's not a bad pack I guess, Evil Hero, Infernal Gainer I think is this one's name, they're all these packs are a little bent though and it's not my fault, like they literally, yeah, Point Guard, Pinpoint Guard, Fedora, Time Escape, Liquor Magnetic Bagworm, um, Pimple Guard, I know it was like a secret. Everybody was like, oh my god, this card's gonna be good one day. Guess what happened? It's never good. Alright, and then the Quacky Mirror War Arms is on the front of this pack. Let's have to go. Idiot dog. He's an idiot dog. We got a Psychic Sword, Evil Storm Ketos, this Valley Falcon, Call of the Mummy, and Mythical Beast Cerberus. I kind of like the uh, Falcon 
It's kind of cool. And then onto these three packs here. We're going to go ahead and do the number hunters just because it's not as old of a pack as the other two. I think Tactical Evolution is safe for last. We'll see what we can get out of it. Uh, Zubava Knight. Gas, the Dust Lord. Go, 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 Golem. Like a Engineer, which actually that card was pretty decent as a rank three a little while. Uh, yeah. Number 57, Trihead Dust Dragon. Nothing crazy. Whatever. Uh, Judgment of the Light. I can't even remember what comes out of this set that's actually worth anything anymore. This has been forever since I played the game, but it is what it is. We'll see what we get. Googly Eyes, Drum Dragon, Umbra Horror, Bujin Identified, or whatever. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Kieran. Oh, wow! <laughs> we got a Starter Ghost Rare. What's up? That's pretty sick. Let me get that closer to the camera so you guys can see the boiliness. Sweet dude, we actually got, I mean, that's actually a decent card. Uh, not, not, I mean, it's not playable, but it's a good pull. And here's the other junk. All right, well, we got this here. That's pretty cool. And we got this beautiful block man, you know. We should grade the starter instead of the block man. Tactical Evolution has, like, Crystal Beasts, Rainbow Dragon. Has some of the good uh, bear statues, actually, in here. So we'll see what we can get. Strike Slash, Beckoning, or Broken Bamboo Sword's actually a, oh, Summer's Art, nice. Upside Down, Volcanic Rat, Snake Whistle, Ajamanat, and Rit Lizard. Uh, Summer's Art was actually decent for a little while when uh, XYZ's first came out, because you could search out the normal XYZ's, you know, Pendulum Summon and shit. So that's not really a bad pull, just a little later than I would like. <laughs> um, other than that, a little lackluster in this pack. There's a lot of decent commons that come out of here. Broken Bamboo Swords actually, like, you could probably sell it for like a dollar or something. I don't know. Well, uh, and then we got this little structure deck here. I'm probably just going to leave it as, well, fuck it. We're going to open this motherfucker. What time are we at on this video? We're at seven minutes. We're going to, we're going to show you the contents card by card. <laughs> so if you guys don't like it, deal with it. You're watching the video. It's all good. And then, uh, I'm, uh, Probably start doing pack openings every once in a while. We'll see how how often that happens, you know. All right. And then we have that beautiful play mat that comes with it. Oh my gosh, the roll book. That's good stuff. Then you have your cigarette pack. It opens just like a cigarette. Pack. I don't smoke, but I know what they open. Well, this is first edition, so that's cool. So we got the number thirty nine Utopia. Uh, we got Muserhythm, Tim Tempo. Melody, My Stroke. Um, weird thing about these cards actually is the foils shifted down just a tad bit below the actual top of the card. It's so like My Stroke at the top is just plain. Um, we got Alexander Dragon, some normals. They, they, this isn't one of like the good structure decks really. Goblin Bird, I mean that's not that's not a bad common. Cyber Dragon. Oh look at that Sangan man. You know you want some Sangan. He has some floaters in this deck because everything else is just horrible. I don't think there's any really good spells. Except for the maybe MS Mystical Space Typhoon is kind of cool. Reinforcements. It's an okay searching card. Magic Cylinder. Draining Shield. Call. Limit Reverse. And Seven Tools. So that is the structure deck. It's been, I think the structure deck's like probably for four years old maybe. I don't know. I stopped playing a while back and it was out when I played so... Um, so yeah guys, we got uh, Blockman and his old little 10, his grade of 10, Sturrier and Summoner's Art. So these two cards right here are actually pretty good. I like the Bamboo Sword. Utopia is actually not bad to get, I guess. Everything else out of the deck is pretty, pretty much garbage. So thanks for watching. Um, this will be my first video on the channel, I guess, or maybe the second in a while. So yeah, I'll catch up to you guys and... Uh, Hopefully do another opening shortly. I'll start, you know, playing the game probably early August, like for legit. So, Alright guys, this is Steve here. Peace out.